Hello and welcome to my Quantum Grammar Language Tutoring video. In this video I'm going to start out with doing a little syntax and then I'm going to move on to the main point of the video which is how to create a correct sentence structure. I apologize for any shadows you may see on the board. My lighting situation is not optimal and I do apologize for that, but it is what it is. So let's start off with syntaxing this sentence. In plain English fiction babble, the pen writes with black ink. Now that's pretty funny. It sounds to me like the pen is writing all by itself. But let's syntax it. Well, let's look at the words. The is non-tangible contract. Pen is tangible contract. Writes is tangible contract. With is non-tangible contract. Black is tangible contract. Ink is tangible contract. So that's pretty simple. Adverb, adjective, pronoun. Adverb, adjective, pronoun. The is an adverb. Non-tangible contract. And if you review your guidelines of syntax, you will know that a tangible con uh, non-tangible contract, non-fact-based term, would not be an adjective. Therefore, it's an adverb modifying pen, which is tangible contract, into an adjective, which is modifying rights into a pronoun. An adjective is a fact-based term which modifies any word in the English language. It's throwing the modification forward onto rights, which is tangible contract pronoun, representing any word in the English language. And then we have with, which is non-tangible contract adverb, no verb, moving your thinking into this tangible contract word black, which is an adjective throwing, well, not throwing because adjective is vowel in front of a consonant, it's no throwing, modification into ink, which is a pronoun of for, tangible contract word. And that's the syntax of this sentence. Now let's translate it into correct sentence structure. So here's one way we could write it. For the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the color claim of the black with the written mark of the pen with this statement by the claimant. Backwards for the claimant of this statement is with the pen of the written mark with the black of the color claim with the facts by the claimant's knowledge. So we have our cause, which is our knowledge, the claimant's knowledge. The consequence of that is the facts. So now we've positioned our line, we know where we're going. We have our two points, our two facts, with which to draw a straight line. We put our verb of the thinking, our motion in there, to move into the rest of the claim along that same geometric level playing field line of the contract with the color claim. So we're specifically saying it's a claim of color, possessive color claim of what? We're assigning it to the color black with the written mark. We're writing the possessive of the pen. The pen possesses the written mark with this statement. Possessive. Who possesses and is the authority of the statement? The claimant. So backwards, the, co the cause would be the claimant. For the claimant, the source of, the, of this is coming from the claimant. What's the consequence of it? This statement. And then you drop your verb of the thinking in there. With the pen, is with the pen, what possesses the pen, what is the pen in the possession of? The written mark, of the written mark, with the black, what possesses the black? It's a color claim, of the color claim, we're assigning the color claim of the black, with the facts, and what possesses the facts, the claimant's knowledge, which is the authority of this entire claim. Now, to simplify this even further, which it may not appear to be very simple, but we can simplify it. 
take out this entire top piece. For the color claim of the black is with the writ mark of the pen with this statement by the claimant. For the claimant of this statement is with the pen of the writ mark with the black by the color claim. So now, the cause of this whole thing is the color claim. Claim of the color. What's the consequence of that cause? The black. Now we have drop our verb of the thinking in. Now we have the possess of the writ mark. We assign the uh, writ mark to the pen and the statement possessed by the claimant, which is the authority. And then backwards, the cause would be the claimant. The consequence of the cause is this statement. Drop the verb of the thinking in with the pen, possessive, and then we assign that to the writ mark, the writ mark of the pen, the pen's writing, and then the possessive, the black. And what is the authority of the black? The color claim. When you write correct sentence structure, when I write it, I like to think of it in terms of sections. Like, for example, we have this section right here. We have the cause and the consequence. They work together. It's always a for, the, of, the, and then a verb. I do not put anything more than two points in front of the verb. Two facts to set it up. Then we have our verb of the thinking. Singular is because color claim is singular. If it had an S on the end of it, it would be plural, R. There are two verbs. The next section, right after the verb, is a possessive and consignment. You can sort of think of it, each section as independent of itself. And then when you get that and it makes sense, then it works together. So you have this little section with the, of the, and then this little section with the, by the. And then, of course, the syntax values of this is 100% mathematically certifiable and correct. Position, audio fact, position, audio fact, verb, position, audio fact, position, audio fact, position, audio fact, position, audio fact. I hope that was clear. And I hope it helped those people out there who are creating their own correct sentence structure claims. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in the confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you value what I do, if you find it's worth something, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you can check out my confidential Facebook group as well. And I have a couple other websites uh, for the teaching. Thank you very much for watching.